The silliest fear I have is moths. I am terrified of moths. Like, terrified? It's it's bad. Like, if there was a moth right here, interview would be over. I'm going home. Like, even if y'all got it out the house, I'm going home. Like, everyone be like, they're harmless, but I'm convinced they have teeth. Like, and no one can tell me that they don't. Like, I'm convinced that they bite. Because what are they doing? And then, like... They just like light. And then like when people were making the memes about light bulbs and moths, like it was just a bad time for me on social media. Like I cried pretty much every day. But moths have teeth. Just believe me. There's no research for this. But just believe me. Moths have teeth. I promise you. They bite. <laughs> you are now inside the maze. This is 21 Questions with Brandy Blaze. Ew. I'm a little nervous. We'll see what happens. <laughs> So people think that the blaze comes from smoking weed, but I'm an embarrassing lightweight when it comes to weed. Like three puffs, I'm laid out. So it's not from that. It's because my mouth is very, very spicy. So I like to cuss men out in particular. That gets me in trouble sometimes. Or you know, sometimes they like it, you know, whatever. But that's where it comes from. My mouth is very fiery. So is the bars. Y'all know the vibes, you know? What is something that is trending and popular now that gets on your nerves? Oh my goodness. Um, you know, okay, so <laughs> I know exactly what. So something that's trending and popular now is people that can't rap or can't sing, but they sing using auto-tune. Like I was just watching like Flops of Genius and it was a bunch of people and I was like, there's no bars. So it's not like a T-Pain kind of thing, even though T-Pain can rap and sing. So that's not even a good comparison, but like you can't rap, you have no bars, but you also can't sing, but you still want to make music, but then the music is still bad. Like, I feel like if you have no talent, the music gotta at least be popping. Like the beat gotta be good. Like the lyrics gotta be good. Like there's too many ghostwriters out here for that. Like you could just hire someone. Like I don't understand like having no talent and putting out bad music. Like you gotta pick a struggle. Like either the music's real good and you have no talent or you got talent and sometimes the music's not good. Whatever, pick a struggle, but don't have nothing to offer. That gets on my nerves. <laughs> What does a perfect weekend look like for you? A perfect weekend? I have no work. <laughs> I am a workaholic. I work all the time, like seven days a week. So for me, no work, some vodka, okay? I'm a vodka girl. I don't drink no dark liquor. Even though I'm named after a dark liquor, I can't drink it because I fight. Um, so yeah, no work, a good nap, my girls, some vodka, and maybe like a little sex, like a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Really? Just, oh, like a lot? <laughs> but I still wanna have time to hang with my girls, so I can't be doing it all weekend. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's perfect for me. I, I like to stay in the house. Like, I'm not a club person. I'm really only in clubs. If it's somebody's birthday or I have a show, I'm getting paid to be there. Other than that, I like to be in the house. If you can be part of a sitcom family, which family would it be and why? Definitely, you have to go with the Fresh Prince. Like they're black and rich. They're super lit. They still had mad swag. Like shout out to OG Aunt Viv. You was gonna get your black history vibes, your black history lessons. Okay, you had like the illest siblings. Like Carlton was lit too, high key. Carlton was lit. No one gives him his due. So you got Will, you got Carlton, you got Ashley, you got Hillary's bougie ass. Y'all can see from my coat, I'm bougie too. Like that's where I wanna be, Fresh Prince, definitely. Tell us about a funny and or an embarrassing moment you've had on stage. Okay, so um, I think this is 2019. You know the pandemic like makes like time weird where you have no idea when anything happens. So this is definitely 2019. I participated in something called One Night Band and it's basically for charity. Um, it's an amazing thing, but basically they put together a band out of like random musicians. You guys, most of us had never met before. We only had one day to come up with like a bunch of songs and a cover. So it was literally all day process. So my band was super cool. Shout out to Coward Moon. Those are my booze. And I got to live out my rock star fantasies cause I'm a Rage Against the Machine girl. So I was living my best life, getting to be the front woman of a rock band. So it had been like a crazy long day. I barely ate. I was just going off adrenaline. I was nervous because I, we wrote all these songs in one day. My memory is terrible. So I was like, this is gonna be bad, but you know, 
whatever. We're going to do it, right? It's for charity. It's for a good cause. So um, the show is at the Sinclair. Pretty sure it was sold out. It was packed in there. And we get on stage. We're rocking it. We're killing it. Crowd going crazy. Everything's amazing. I started getting sick to my stomach. And I'm like, okay, this is like the last song. So I'm like, okay, you just got to get through it. Just power through it. We're going to get make it. We're going to get through this one last song. We're going to get out of here. It's going to be fine. You can collapse backstage. No one will care. But it just came up. And I literally just turned around. I threw up in front of the drums. Turned back around and kept going. And I was like legendary, right? Cause I threw up on the stage of the Sinclair. But like, I was so embarrassed. But then afterwards I laid down backstage, I was fine. I went into the crowd and people either didn't notice or they thought I was like the realest, like the biggest badass rock star bitch ever. Cause I threw up on stage. So it was a win win. <laughs> Who is Brandy Blaze without music? Um, very sad or in prison. Most likely in prison. <laughs> like music is everything to me. Music is my entire life. Music is also my sanity. It's how I stay out of prison. It's how I keep my hands off people. I'm very grateful for finding music because all of that aggression that I have sometimes, you know, people be making you upset and you have to have an outlet because you can't just punch everybody in the mouth. At least that's what Mama Blaze says. I'm not 100% convinced of this. I feel like I could punch some people, but no, I can't. So I want to stay out of jail. I've never been. So I make music. And it's like everything to me. It's my entire life. What is your guilty pleasure? Oh my God. I'm a nerd. So I love cartoons. I watch like a lot of adult cartoons. So I actually have a Simpsons tattoo, random. But I love cartoons like Big Mouth and Bojack Horseman, South Park, Family Guy. Like I watch all of those. Um, and I also love video games too. I'm a big Final Fantasy nerd. Um, I waited like a decade or so for Final Fantasy VII Remake. I beat it a couple months ago. Greatest accomplishment of my life. Um, <laughs> and yeah, that's that's really what I like to do. I feel like people just think I'm like Billy Badass out here because I rap, but I'm really like a huge nerd. What trends did you follow when you were younger? Oh my God, this is so embarrassing. <laughs> so I definitely had the baby hairs with the black gel because you have to have black gel so you know you could see it all right here. You know what I'm saying? I definitely have butterfly clips. I had Air Forces of every single color. I had the super baggy Celtics jersey. Like when I was in high school, I dressed like a whole nigga. I'm not even gonna lie. Like I dress more feminine now, like slightly more. Like I think it's more feminine because I have on this pink coat, but y'all can't see I have on Tim's. So <laughs> like I did all of that. Um, the only thing I didn't get into was like the super skinny eyebrows. That's the only thing I didn't get into, but I got them one time by accident and I almost cried. <laughs> what is the silliest fear you have the silliest fear i have is moths i am terrified of moths like terrified it's it's bad like if there was a moth right here interview would be over i'm going home like even if y'all got it out the house i'm going home like everyone be like they're harmless but i'm convinced they have teeth like if no one can tell me that they don't like i'm convinced that they bite <laughs> because what are they doing and then like, they just like light. And then like when people were making the memes about light bulbs and moths, like it was just a bad time for me on social media. Like I cried pretty much every day, but moths have teeth. Just believe me, you, there's no research for this, but just believe me, moths have teeth. I promise you, they bite. <laughs> if you had to relive one day of your life forever, which day would you choose and why? Um, if I had to relive one day, I think it would probably be the day that we did the late Bloomer release show. Shout out, cause y'all were there too, lit lit. Um, I think it was just like the best day of my life. Um, just having my whole team, my family there, my friends there. And unfortunately like um, a friend of mine passed away right after that show. So that was the last time that we interacted um, and I missed them to death. So that day was even more special for me to have him there right before he passed away. So if I lived that day forever, he would never die. How different was your life one year ago? One year ago. Okay, like fuck Corona. Can I swear? I've been swearing this whole time, it's too late. Um, <laughs> one year ago, um, 
I released Late Bloomer, I performed at the Boston Music Awards, and I was entirely booked out for the year of 2020. Like, I was supposed to go to the UK, and go on tour, go on tour across the US for the first time. Um, I've never left the country, so this was like a big deal for me. And um, I was really excited about where I was and where I felt like my career was gonna go. Um, and then the pandemic happened and everything just kind of fell apart. But honestly, there's been, as much bad has come out of it, a lot of good has come out of it for me creatively at least. Um, I'm working on my third album and I think that the ideas that I have for my third album, I don't think I would have had them if I didn't have the constraints that I have. So I'm really grateful, you know, especially for DJ Y Sham, cause she's been holding me down. Like I was depressed for weeks and we got our first show and she was like, okay, come on, get up. We gotta go do a show. And you know, I'm really thankful that she got me up. So, you know, things are looking better now, but yeah, it was a rough one. It was a rough one for everybody. You find a remote that can rewind, fast forward, stop, and start time. What do you do with it and why? Am I allowed to ask questions? <laughs> Y'all are like, no. <laughs> Y'all can't see them, but they're like, no, you can't. <laughs> I think, okay, because it doesn't say I can't go back and forth. So I feel like I would go forward first to see what happens. Like maybe like, I wouldn't even go that far forward. I would say maybe like five years to see where I'm at. And if I wasn't happy with where I was at, I'd probably then go backwards, like maybe like 10 years or so, because I feel like I would know exactly what to do to fix it. Am I the first person I ever asked if I could ask questions? No. <laughs> Y'all be like, y'all just answer the question. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> y'all artists are divas. <laughs> what popular TV show or movie do you refuse to watch that is popular? Oh my goodness. Um, I try, I, you know what? I refuse to watch a lot of things that are popular just because they are, because it just doesn't interest me. But I'm trying to think of like, what's the biggest thing like out right now? You know what? I'm not into Marvel. And I know like a lot of people are, so I know that's kind of like disgraceful. But I'm just like not into superhero movies like that. Like I watched Black Panther cause I'm black and I felt obligated. Um, but other than that, no, I'm just not into superhero movies. Now if they came out with a storm movie that had a black storm, you know what I mean? Like I will watch that. Absolutely. Cause I love storm, but other than that, yeah, I'm not into it. Storm is black. But you know exactly, you know, <laughs> we don't want no light skin storm. We want a dark skin storm. No more light skin storms. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> if you had unlimited funds to build a house that you would live in for the rest of your life, what would the finished house be like? Uh, okay, so if I had unlimited funds, um, it would definitely be on the beach because I love water. I love living on the beach. It would definitely be there. Um, I think it would be like more modern, but not like those weird, like creepy, like cold moderns, like maybe like more like modern, but like having like some antique, like Cape Cod like type of touches. But I would definitely want lots of glass. So I would have to have a lot of bushes, I feel like, cause I be walking around my house naked. So a lot of glass ain't gonna work for me. You know, we're working it out as we, we're just talking it out. It's fine, it's fine. So <laughs> we'll have a lot of privacy hedges, apparently. But <laughs> I would love like a lot of glass, like a lot of natural light. And then when you come inside, I don't want it to feel like clinical. I want it to feel like really like at home, like really colorful and pretty. Like you feel like you could lay on my couch and like not get it dirty. Like you could just have a good time. Um, I definitely would want like, one of those pools that like go into the water because I think that's super lit. Um, and like a movie theater. I don't know why. I don't even watch that many movies, but I feel like I should have it because if I'm balling like that, why not? And <laughs> I would just want it to be big enough that like my family could live with me and we cannot talk to each other because that's the condition for my family living with me is we have to be far enough that you have to call me and we're in the same house. We can't be on top of each other. Like I don't want to see you. I love you, but I don't want to see you. <laughs> Tell us about a time in the studio you would never forget, whether it was funny, crazy, or serious. I think, okay, so my engineer is Fresh from DE, shout out to Fresh. 
And when I met him, I was just starting out rapping. So he's very, very serious. He like, you know, he, he wouldn't give you no feedback. He'll just be like, okay, cool. Yep, bet, fine, mix, out, okay? He didn't play no games. So I remember when I recorded Boss Like Me, um, and that's the first time he ever gave me a reaction. He was like, yo, this record is fire. And I was like, really? You like it? You think it's good? Like, and that made me feel really good in that moment. I felt like he kind of, we understood each other more like as mutual artists. Um, and I feel like that's when he like kind of really saw what I was trying to do. So, and Boss Like Me has just always been a special record for me because it's the first record I had out here that people really started to know me for until Model came out. But Boss Like Me is just a special record. And everyone remembers pushing 30, but my pussy's 19. Like, people say that to me in the streets. It's a little embarrassing. <laughs> if you could beat the shit out of a character from a movie or TV show because of a role they played, who would it be and why? Okay, this is super random, and I feel like maybe not enough people will watch it, but I really love BoJack Horseman. It's one of my favorite shows, but I would beat the shit out of BoJack Horseman when he let Sarah Lynn overdose. Like, he was such a piece of shit. Like, honestly, I would beat the brakes off him. Cause like, how you just gonna leave her in the planetarium? You ain't even gonna call 911. I just gave y'all mad spoilers if you've never seen the show, whatever. Go on Netflix. <laughs> but I would beat the brakes off Bojack. Oh, and he like tried to like have sex with a minor. He need his ass beat. That was all the spoilers. Now y'all don't need to watch it. <laughs> what is something that people do that just makes you cringe? Um, I don't like the sounds of people eating. It's very random and very weird. But like, it's, it's not even so much eating. It's people that eat loud. It like... It's like nails on a chalkboard to me. It annoys the hell out of me. I'd be like, please shut up, please stop. Like, go eat over there. I think that makes restaurants a little hard for me, but like, yeah, like, please close your mouth and eat quiet. Like, you ain't gotta be smacking, doing all of this, you know what I'm saying? Look at your feet. It's gross, I hate it, ugh. If you could make a 20 second phone call to yourself at any point in your life, present or future, when would you call and what would you say? I would call myself at 18 um and i would say don't talk to that nigga walk right away like just walk this is his name this is what he looks like walk right by him don't talk to him at all <laughs> what movie or tv show have you not watched that can get your black car revoked oh man um well, up until I was like 25, it was the color purple and my mama finally sat me down and was like, we're not doing this no more. So I have seen the color purple. Um, I would say probably like, I haven't seen the entirety of Roots because it's just, I can't do it. Like it's it's 16 days of misery. Like, no, I, I don't I don't like watching slave movies. Like I've never seen 12 Years a Slave. I've never seen Birth of a Nation. Um, I just don't enjoy those types of movies. So if I can't get through two hours, I'm not getting through 72 hours. Like Roots is way too damn long. I'm not doing it. <laughs> Give us your best pickup line as Brandy Blaze versus your best pickup line as Brandy Blaze. Oh, wait. <laughs> what is, give us your best pickup line as Brandy versus your best pickup line. Breast? <laughs> <laughs> this is, this is going. Give us your best pickup line as Brandy versus your best pickup line as Brandy Blaze. Okay, so I have no game. So let's just say that. Um, I feel like I have no pickup lines as Brandy because I don't ever hit on anybody, like ever. Like ever, like anyone I've dealt with has hit on me first. Like I might look at you, but like, if you don't come talk to me, I don't, I don't wanna talk to you. But I, I like to believe that Brandy Blaze actually does have some game. So, you know, if it was just like smooth R&B in the background, just like pretend, just pretend, you know. They might add it in in the end, or maybe I'll just have to pretend, whatever. There's like some, I don't know, Michael Buble in the background, some shit. Okay. <laughs> I'd be like, hey, what's up? My name is Brandy Blaze. I'll be rapping about pussy. You wanna see what it's about? <laughs> it, it, it'll work. Or maybe you'll get arrested for sexual harassment.
maybe you'll end up on the sex offender list. Just don't say I told you to do that. <laughs> Finish the lyrics. Ass should be illegal. Nine one one. Wait, what? Oh lord, I'm I'm about to get my freaking black card revoked. I know it. I know it. <laughs> I didn't know I should know it. That's my damn song, ain't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> this is so bad. Like I wrote it. Now people are gonna think I have a ghostwriter because I don't know my own damn songs. Fuck. <laughs> Wait. Should be illegal. What? Like he's a simp. He's a, no, I didn't say that. God damn. I'm like, what song is that? You know what? I'm, we're gonna blame it on Corona because I don't get to perform as much as I used to. Hold on. This is gonna bother me forever. It's gonna be 2 a.m. and I'm gonna be like, you stupid bitch. <laughs> wait, no, wait. Okay, no, no, I got it. <laughs> I should be like, <laughs> I should be illegal 911. <laughs> Kevin Hart is no bitch. It's something like that. I promise you. It's something like that. Like, Lord, this is so bad. And they're going to leave this whole part in. I know it. This is probably like the funniest part. Because I was really like, God damn. This is probably like the fucking little Kim song, and they set me up. <laughs> it's my own damn song. <laughs> But no, no, listen, but no Kevin Hart, no Mitch, SMH, he can still be my trick, breaking that nigga down like twigs of sticks. <laughs> God damn! <laughs> it took us 15 years to get there. But we made it, nigga, we made it. <laughs> God damn. I saw that face. <laughs> Brandy, just not. You know what? No, I'm gonna change. Old Brandy, new Monica. French fries or tater tots? French fries. Lobster or crab legs? Both. Like king crab legs and lobster. You gotta have both. I'm from New England. Like, don't play. Trump or Biden? Biden. What? Dorchester or Roxbury? Dorchester, gang gang. Mac and cheese or candy yams? Mac and cheese. Netflix and chill or go out and party? Netflix and chill. Capital of Boston. Dorchester. What? You said the capital of Boston, right? Wait, wait, wait. wait. She definitely said the capital of Boston. You're the first person to actually give an answer. <laughs> Is that not the answer? Folk or drink? Drink. Sun or shade? Shade. Penny or Patron? Neither. Apple pie or sweet potato pie? Ooh, sweet potato pie. Big party or small gathering? Small gathering. Love or lust? What's the difference? For real. Now I'm asking y'all questions. <laughs> <laughs> Nickelodeon or Disney? Oh, Nickelodeon. Nuts or no nuts? Mm. Damn. Things that make you say, hmm. Y'all know I'm pansexual too, so that ain't even a good question. No, I'm gonna say both. <laughs> salty or sweet? Um, salty. Friends or living single? Living single, what? Banana pudding or peach cobbler? Peach cobbler. Family matters or full house? Family matters. Dinner or drinks? Hmm. I'll say drinks. Black or white? Black. Mac and cheese or mashed potatoes? Mac and cheese. Pineapple or on pizza? Hell no, no, no. Phone call or text? Text. Grits or oatmeal? Grits. Carl Winslow or Uncle Phil? Uncle Phil. 
Radio or podcast? Podcast. Breathe underwater or fly? Mm. I'll, I'll take fly. Taste or smell? Taste. <laughs> I was just inside the maze. Now I'm about to be out because I got shit to do. So my name is Brandy Blaze. This has been 21 Questions. You can find me at Brandy Blaze, B-R-A-N-D-I-E-B-L-A-Z-E. -E. I know they're going to spell it on the bottom, but I just did it for you. Okay? Make sure you go stream Late Bloomer. Peace, guys. Ew.